Hey guys, so school has been going on. Today is the first full week. This is the end of the first full week of school. And I thought I would come on here and share with you guys some tips and tricks on back to sc on school lunches. This really doesn't have anything to do with back to school, so I wanted to wait till school got started. Some, you know, lunches for school and things. So I'm going to share with you some except packing stuff, you know, to pack, put, wow, things to put your kids' food in, why I picked, you know, the lunchbox that I chose that you saw in the back to school haul video, and some foods that I really like to have to put in my kids' lunchbox to make it better for her and stuff she likes to eat. So, let's okay, go guys. ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so I thought I'd share a little tip about how we deal with lunches at school. Um, our school actually does some really healthy lunches. Um, they always have a vegetable and they always have like a fruit and stuff too. So, but my daughter is so picky with things, I kind of just would rather bring her lunch, pack her lunch for her to make sure she eats everything and all this kind of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to tell you though about doing that, doing lunches, is print off your school's lunch menu. Go online and print it off. Most schools have it. Um, a lot of schools still put it in the paper, in their, um, your town paper. So just look in your paper and see if it's there. And you can discuss with your child, you know, what you want to do about lunches. Like our school, almost every Friday they do pizza because kids love pizza. So on Fridays, which today is Friday, and by the time you watch this, it won't be Friday. But she, um, she likes pizza. So on Fridays, we let her eat pizza in the cafeteria. But she has to eat, you know, the most, almost everything in her lunch every day. Especially like the yogurt and the cheese sticks and the things, the healthier things that I pack. So that's kind of how we deal with the lunches and stuff. So we know it's coming up on Friday and maybe they're having a special lunch one day and she wants to eat that special lunch. Like they had Dr. Seuss themed lunches last year. Or they may be having a special, you know, Thanksgiving Day lunch or whatever. So that's kind of how... Um, we decide on the lunches. We print out the whole lunch menu and have it up on the adult command center in our house and it's ready to go. So first thing I'm going to show you guys are the things I use to pack my daughter's lunch. Sorry for the light. The things I use to pack my daughter's lunch in and I'll kind of explain to you where I got some of them and if I can find any of these on uh, online I will link them down below or I'll tell you where I got them. So. Let's get started with the packing. Okay, guys, so this is our big lunch bin. Now, there's one thing that is not in here. It is her big um, bento box, which I will actually talk about that in a minute. But this is her lunch box. It's from I Pack Lunch. We bought this at Walmart, but I will see if I can have find a link <clears throat> online for you down below on Amazon or something. It's a really great lunch box. Woo it's really big, and this kind of, this expands up. So when you zip it, you could actually zip it like with these going up. So you still have a little extra room and it's super cute, fun, bright colors. So basically this is just an accoutrement of things I have. This is something I got at a thrift store. She loves elephants. That's why I bought this. It was 50 cents at a thrift store. But this is something I also use to make my own custom Lunchables. Um, it's a little bit bigger than this one which I used to make Lunchables in. Now this is a Sophia the First and this came from, I bought it at Goodwill but it originally came from Target so check out your local Goodwill stores or your local Target and you can probably find this. So basically how I make her own Lunchables is I use these. These are um, cupcake cups but they're aluminum foil ones so they will like, they'll stand up really well on their own like individually. That's paper, I don't use the paper. Let's see if I can get this out for you without injuring my... Yeah, see, they really stand up really well on their own, unlike most paper cups that kind of shrink. So, I use those, and basically what I do is I cut out the meat, and I put it in here. I put the Ritz, the crackers in here. I cut up, um, like, a cheese stick, and I put it in here. And I'll fill up one of these boxes. Now, these little ones, you can fit four in a box and this one. I haven't tried this one yet because I forgot about it. I had it saved for lunch for school and I forgot about it this last year. Another thing I have is I do have a set of silverware. These are metal. These came from the dollar spot in Target. 
and they're kind of cute because they have little owls on them and she likes owls just like mommy does so those are cute now these are reusable bags we don't use plastic baggies in her lunch this one's for sandwiches and then this one's for snacks i got these in a two pack they came like this from goodwill for 99 cents and these are usually about ten dollars for a thing they originally came from target so um I'll try to find a link to some of these things like this below. Now, these actually came from Old Navy. Ah! Get in there. And then these are Zach brand ones and they're very kid friendly. So we have these. Um, I have these super cute little apples. I'll try to find a link to these on Amazon. And you, these are screw on lids, so they're perfect for like yogurt or things you don't want to leak out. Now, all of this stuff is my husband's too. Like, I have to have these little Tupperware cups. These are for my husband for his lunch. He takes his lunch too. So, that's kind of what I have. Woo! I'm a throwing things today. That's kind of what I have for her lunch. And, you know, it's in a nice little basket that actually goes up there in that corner. Now, I'm going to go over here and show you the bento box because I have to wash it. Excuse the messy dishes, but basically it's all in one. You open it up, wah, the sandwich goes in here, and then you open this up and you can put your carrots, your cheese sticks, your fruit snacks, or whatever. So it's great for when she brings a sandwich. Um, I also have one of her cups, excuse me. This is one of her cups, it is spill proof and it also has an ice insert. You freeze it and then you put it in here, and so it'll keep her drink cold, you know, until lunchtime comes around. And it's a cute perfect lunchbox size so I'll try to find a link I got this at Ross so I'll try to see if I could find a link for this or something similar to this online for you guys so now we're gonna go to the food I'm just gonna spin around and show you the food basically these are items that I pack in her lunch now you have to understand something hold on let me give you a little okay, disclaimer here's the disclaimer here. My daughter's school, they have five lunch times, just so they can fit everybody in and all the kids have a good enough time to eat. My daughter has first lunch, which is 10.30, so that's super early to eat. They just got to school at 8.30, and they have an in-classroom breakfast, free in-classroom breakfast. And it's just like an apple or Pop-Tarts and a milk, so it's not super filling, but my daughter does not eat a lot. So that's kind of why um, I don't have like a ton of food, I don't put a ton of food in her lunchbox. And that's kind of why I chose these foods. Um, you can also do, you know, your typical sandwiches and things if your kid likes to eat a sandwich at school. So, sorry for the little disclaimer. Okay, okay so here's food. just like a small collection of food that I would put in her lunchbox. So first of all, this is yogurt. This is Trix yogurt. This is an eight pack. We got Wildberry Blue and cotton candy. There's no red 40 in this. There's no high fructose corn syrup and it's natural colors and flavors, which it didn't used to be. And it has a box top on it for her school. So she gets like a yogurt. These aren't super, I'm taking them out of here anyway. I was trying to show you the size. These aren't super big, but if you wanted to, you could always take this and mix in a little just vanilla yogurt to it or just plain yogurt with no taste and that way you could have a little extra yogurt and you wouldn't have to you know empty these all out of course baby carrots are great you know if your kids like carrots or celery or grapes or any kind of fruit that they like um you know fruit cups are good too but my daughter would make a mess so i'd end up just having to dump all the juice out and save it um i like these who knew cookies they're smart cookies they have calcium fiber and whole grain. There's no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, or trans fat. And I got these at Big Lots for a buck seventy-five. And they're just like Oreos. She likes them. She doesn't know if she's getting anything good for her, so that makes me happy. And then these Mott's, any applesauce, but these are the medleys. These have fruit and vegetable servings in there, so she's getting fruits and vegetables in her day too. Um, I also do cheese sticks. These are from Aldi's, the Happy Farm cheese sticks. I love these. No, it's not after lunch. You're going to fix your lunch in a minute and then you can have your treat. 
Next is these chewy granola bars. These are 25% less sugar, so it's kind of like a nice treat in her lunchbox. If I don't give her cookies, I usually give her a granola bar. Um, we also do these Annie's Friends Bunny Grams. These are the honey chocolate and chocolate chip. And we also have the honey. Um, we also do these Ocean Spray Fruit Snacks. These have no red 40 or anything like that in them. And the berries and cherries are my kids' favorite kind of fruit snacks. Um, we also have the Go Go Squeeze Applesauce with the easy open top. These are amazing. You know, this is probably the only like trash thing my daughter really has in her lunch, you know, that she could throw away. We usually do a trash free lunch. So, juice boxes, the Apple and Eve Fruitables. This is fruit and juice, or fruit and vegetable juice. And then this is the um, just 100% juice. I usually open these and put them in her cup. So that way I, I take care of throwing away all of the trash at home. Then we have these Simply Nature Raspberry Lemon Twisted Fruit Ropes. These come from Aldi's. My kids love these. My son and daughter love these. They're great and they're actually, they're natural. They're good for them. A little something that ain't good for them is chocolate pudding. This is a special treat, but this still has no high fructose corn syrup in it. And these come from Aldi's, so. But yeah, that's some of the food stuff that I give them and everything. So I'm gonna come back here and give you a little chit chat just a second about hey guys, why I chose so these. I chose these foods to put in my daughter's lunchbox. Not every day, you know, I don't have everything in there every day. But since she eats lunch so early, she's not really super hungry enough to eat a whole sandwich and stuff. So that's what I do. So that's why I do yogurt and stuff every day. I put yogurt in there. That's why I wanted to get some different flavors for her. Um, you can also buy tricks in a four pack for $2. So if you wanna, you know, let's say you wanna mix up some different flavors and you don't wanna buy a whole thing. Um, yeah, and I usually do put some sort of like a treat, like actual candy, like some Tootsie Rolls or like a little can mini candy bar or something in there just for a special treat at lunch just you know like a little I love you for mommy in there but I chose a lot oh I didn't talk to you about the honest kids juice boxes did I well I guess I didn't these honest kids juice boxes are great they're 100% organic and they have no high fructose corn syrup and they're super great sorry I forgot to mention these but that is what I do for my daughter's lunch and hopefully that'll give you guys some tips and tricks on maybe some things to try in your kids lunch that way, you know, if they don't want to eat what's at school or they're super picky and you don't want to waste your money. Because if they don't eat it at school and you keep ice packs in there, it should be okay for them to eat at home later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on school lunches and how I pack my daughters and where I got some of the stuff for it and what I put in it. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.